There's no hiding the fact that Herba Mystica is one of the most sought after items in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Let's show you the fastest way of farming them in the new update. Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with even more Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet Tips and Tricks tutorial videos. Today's video is all about Herba Mystica. Yeah, a lot of you guys have heard some different things on the internet about how exactly to get it, certain raids give it to you, there's certain farming methods, but today we're going to clear it all out and you guys are going to be experts at farming them by the end of this. And not to mention, this brand new update that came out not too long ago got rid of some of the older methods of getting Herba Mystica. Anyway, more about that within the video. Thank you guys so much for enjoying the content and thank you so much for subscribing. We recently had a hijacking of the channel and we're slowly but surely making our way back. So any and all engagement on the video would be super appreciated. So let me know in the comments below, how do you pronounce the word Herba Mystica? Do you pronounce the H like Herba or do you call it Herba without the H? Anyway. Let's jump into it. All right, let's show you guys exactly how to get Herba Mystica in the fastest way possible within the brand new update that recently came out. Now, as you guys can see, this is where you're gonna find your current list of Herba Mystica in your bag. It's under picnic items, so scroll through there and you'll be able to find what your inventory is. No Herba Mystica is better than any of the other ones outside of Sweet because Sweet gives you uh, one of the quests within the school, so you may need that. But a lot of people say that, oh yeah, I need salty Herba Mystica. How am I gonna grind salty? No, it doesn't matter because we have recipes that that call for any two Herba Mystica. If you guys missed my video on that, go ahead and watch it. And while you're there, learn a little bit more about why we want these Herba Mystica and how exactly to do that, right? Get those sparkling sandwiches and get those shiny Pokemon. Anyway, video is gonna be linked in the description. So your best way of getting Herba Mystica is going to be doing five and six star raids. As you guys can see, if you zoom out over here, you'll be able to see all these different little icons and raid dens. We already knew this from the very beginning of the game. That's great. So stop wasting your time with one, two, three, and four star raids. They're not gonna have any drop tables for Herba Mystica. You want to find the five star ones like this one right over here. Now, you can go through and beat any of the five star raids. There's going to be on average, approximately like a 13% drop of any kind of Herba Mystica with certain Pokemon. So it's not really that optimal. The way that you want to do this is hunting down certain Pokemon that give you an entire list of one through five of the different Herba Mystica, and you can get multiples of them at any given time. Yes, that's right. So these Pokemon on screen over here, Amoongus, Blissey, Satitan, Dondozo, Driftblim, Electros, uh, we've got Gengar, Glalie, and Palafin. All these Pokemon right over here, their drop tables have chances of every single one of the five Herba Mystica in them versus just having one. So your best bet is to find those Pokemon versus like any random five star raid and then battle it. Um, so if you want it to do it the most efficient way, go through. Now it's going to be a little bit hard and time consuming to pretty much jump from raid to raid. And there's no guarantee that this one over here is gonna be a five star. It could be a three star, two star, one star. It's gonna be very time consuming, but it's still a way of doing it. And I wanted to cover it in the video for those of you guys that just like going through and beating all these raid battles, right? It's great, but really the ones you wanna focus on are the Pokemon that I showed you earlier. Now you guys may be wondering, hey, what happens when I exhaust all of them or I want to re-roll any of my raid dens? Well, it's gonna be super easy. All you have to do is go over to system settings and change your date a day forward or a day backwards. Honestly, as long as you change your date, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, so right over here, just go over to one more day, move all the way over to okay, press the A button and then exit out. Uh, you'll notice in real time that some of the raids will disappear and then you can go ahead and refresh that and find even more five star raids, grind them, host them, do all your thing and get your Herba Mystica. Th approximately 13% drop on that. Anyway, so right over here, um, as you guys can see, our our best way of getting Herba Mystica is going to be utilizing six star raid battles. Now, if you take a look at your entire map over here, there's going to be all sorts of little icons that are the raid dens, but one of them will shine above the rest with the pink and white icon right over here. It's like a pink and white along the outside. It's really subtle and relatively hard to see. So let's fly over there and let me show you the absolute best way of doing this. And I'll show you a fun little way of just hosting it for many people and it's gonna be so good all right so right over here uh this is where we're at this is the raid den as you guys can see it is uh electrifying all of that fun stuff um now with this what you want to know is that there is a good 60 plus pokemon that could be inside these six star raids 
And there are going to be a certain amount of Pokemon that give you even better rewards based off of their drop tables. All right, and that's going to be right over here. These six Pokemon are the ones that you want to find. Amoongus again, Blissey again, Satitan. Uh, we've got Dondozo, we're looking at Ferrigaraph, and we're looking at Vaporeon over here. Now, the great thing about these six-star uh, Pokemon over here, it's the exact same thing as these five-star raids. They drop a potential of one of each of them at a 13% rate on, um, on each of them. So you can get multiples on this, which is going to be so good. So these are the only Pokemon that you really want to search out for. The reason why I say that finding the six star raid dens is going to be a lot easier is because all you literally have to do is open up your menu and then like visually scroll through all of these and find that icon and then fly to that icon. If you guys are thinking about the five star raids, you have to really just, I don't know, it's a needle in a haystack. Just like come over here. All right, well, I'm going to go check this one. I'm going to check this one, this one, this one this one, this one. So it's a lot more time consuming. But of course, the six star raid dens are going to be a little bit harder. But don't worry about that. I got a tutorial on the best Pokemon that you can use in order to solo these guys. All right. So now you guys know uh, certain Pokemon give certain drop rates. There are certain Pokemon that give a, pretty much all of the Urba Mystica drop rates. Now let's show you guys a fun way of hosting a den so that you can give it to Pokemon trainers just like yourself. Uh, your first step is going to be going over here to options, turn auto save off just like that. Uh, go ahead and save your game right in front of the den just so that you guys have a nice save state right here. Done and easy. So right in front of me, I've got a Ferrigaraph and that's going to be super fun. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to challenge it as a group. I'm going to invite uh, all of my friends over. But for the demonstration purposes, I'm really just going to invite my other account here. Um, so you can do this with connecting online. You can do it just with friends in real life. Uh, the host is going to host this raid den, and it's going to be super fun. Now bring whatever Pokemon you guys use in order to do the battle. And of course, what we're going to do is I'm, I'm going to do a quick cut right over here to when we beat it. And I'm going to show you exactly how many Herba Mystica we get from this Ferrigara. Okay, as you guys can see right over here, we just got done beating the Ferrigaraph. I don't need to catch it because it's not going to matter right now. It's not a shiny. And we're going to end up resetting the game. But as you can see right on screen over here, since Ferrigaraph is one of those Pokemon that has multiple Herba Mystica in its drop table, you'll be able to see that I was lucky enough to get two out of the five. Is it possible to get all five in one battle? It absolutely is. Each of these is like a 13% chance of getting. So I absolutely love this and I needed the Sour Herba Mystica. So this is great. So now by going through and beating the five star and six star raids, showing you that there are Pokemon that drop multiple Herba Mystica, so don't waste your time on any other Pokemon. We can actually show you one more thing. Now, remember earlier I showed you that you can save your game before this raid den and host it for other people. So right over this way, um, we've got my other account, my guests that I invited into the game. They also got those Herba Mystica drops as well. As you guys can see, right over on screen over here, they got uh, the exact same thing, spicy and sour. So with my main game, as I'm the host, what I could do is I can honestly close the game just like this and then reload it, which is going to be so fun. So... It's unfortunate that the host loses out on the Herba Mystica, but all three of the guests can continuously farm on this raid den in order to get Herba Mystica. Does that make sense for you guys? Man, that's actually really cool. So right over here, we just finished the raid. Uh, we're going back to the overworld over here. So what I can essentially do with this account over here is I could just continue to jump into the host's raid and get even more Herba Mystica every time just by entering that code and then going from there and you can rinse and repeat. But what I wanted to show you by restarting this game over here is the fact that as soon as it boots up, you're going to get that exact raid den all over again, which is super fun. So here we go. It's the Ferrigaraph raid. I can go ahead and connect online. I can host it for literally anyone that I want. And then they can just pretty much get as many Herba Mystica as they want. Unfortunately, they won't be able to trade me any of it, but whenever I'm done hosting the raid, I'll just go over here, challenge it as a group, and then save after I beat it. So there you have it. That is going to be your fastest way of using the 
raids in order to get different Herba Mystica. And yes, you're going to need a lot of them if you're going to be shiny hunt. In review, again, these are the five-star Herba Mystica Pokemon. And then right over here are the six-star Herba Mystica Pokemon. These are the only Pokemon that you should be raiding if your only goal is to get a boatload of Herba Mystica. Well, there we have it. Now you guys are experts in everything Herba Mystica. So keep an eye out on those six Pokemon in the six star raids. And like I said earlier, I'm going to be working on a tutorial that showcases the absolute best raid Pokemon so that you don't necessarily have to rely on other people jumping in. And odds are, when you connect to global internet, people don't even know how to help out. So anyway, that video is coming out very, very soon. I'm going to be working hard on getting that going. So thank you so much for being here. And overall, thanks for chilling. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you for hitting that notification button. And thanks for subscribing. You guys are awesome. Let's get to 1 million, yeah? All right. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.